Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Did you know that the unemployment rate in Greece right now, after decades of heavy spending, the kind of infrastructure spending that some bailout types and experts want here in the United States, did you know that the unemployment rate in Greece right now is over 20 percent in fact for youth greek youth it's actually over 50 percent now given america's complicated history involving both race and gender right let's remember that women didn't get the right to vote until the 20th century here in America. And let's uh, remember too that black unemployment as I make this video officially is more than 13%. And we know the way they cook the numbers here where they don't count discouraged workers, the black unemployment rate is much higher, right? And given that we know that Latinos as a group, as well as African-Americans, have lost more than 40% on average of their wealth per capita in the last seven years, right? Could you imagine what would happen in America given our race and gender divide if unemployment got to Greek levels right now? It'd be an absolute catastrophe. There'd be rioting in the streets, just like there's been rioting in Greece. And yet, when you look at what the Greek have done, they've literally followed the blueprint put forth by so-called experts like Paul Krugman, right? Very heavy government spending, bailout after bailout, after bailout, government expenses far exceeding government revenue. Now, Nassim Taleb in The Black Swan points out that there are many Nobel Prize winners whose work after they received the award has been discredited. In fact, what we knew of medicine in the 19th century, right, what was regarded as conventional wisdom in the field of medicine in the 19th century, the so-called experts in medicine in the 19th century have turned out to be wrong. Isn't it foolhardy to believe in the economic experts now when we have proof that a generation of excessive government spending can literally reach an end result of greater than 20% unemployment. Let me also point out too, that when the government goes insolvent, as it has in Greece, the people who are hurt the most are the people who are dependent on the government, the poor working and middle classes, right? They're the ones who get their government benefits slashed. They're the ones who get their college education subsidy slashed, right? They're the ones who really rely on the government to a greater degree for their standard of living than people who are able to privately finance their existence without government subsidy. And so, given that reality, that it's the poor and working class that's most negatively impacted by government insolvency, then why then are we in the United States increasing government dependency? Why are we literally having more and more people receive food stamps 
and other government assistance policies and why are we to a greater and greater degree incurring 40 cents of debt on an ongoing basis for every dollar of government spending. The system's untenable. Does anyone watching this video think that right now the issue of who pays for widely available contraception is even on the front page of the newspapers in Greece? Why are we talking about issues like that here in the United States at a time when we're on the road to a Greek type of tragedy? Isn't the real news not who pays for a Georgetown law student's contraception, whether she does or whether uh, there's an insurance mandate that passes the costs on uh, to um, policyholders uh, as mandated by the government? Are issues like that as big as issues like the size of the government debt, the soundness of the money, the possible insolvency of the government, and the 20 plus percent unemployment that would be caused by that government insolvency along with runaway inflation. Let's keep our eye on the ball. We have record debt levels in the United States and we're not trying to finance World War III, right? I mean, if you're, if you're looking at government debt and you see the wars we're in, the debt is disproportionate. At this point, it's an open question whether the United States would even have the capability to wage a major war. And so um, all I could say is the red flags are out. Don't get sidetracked by minor stories about who pays for widely available contraception. Don't get sidetracked by speeches by candidates about equal pay for equal work because we're on the road, quite frankly, to no pay for no work if the U.S. ends up like Greece. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at keepingitfree blogspot.com and wealthspin.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.